Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start creating this FAQ section using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So first of all, let me show you a demo. So here we have these questions and if I click on any of these questions, we have the answer to that question displayed over here. And we also have this animation for this arrow. And if I click on the other question, then the first question is uh, collapsed and we have the expanded form of the second question. And in this way, we can go ahead and click on these questions to view the answers. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called FAQ Accordion and I just opened it with VS Code. Now in this video, we're going to just create this UI and in the next video, we will create the functionality using JavaScript. So let's go back over here and let's create the necessary file. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I just name it index.html and let's create a new file and let's name it style.css and we need to have one more file which is a JavaScript file. I just name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Right here in the head section, let's link our CSS file and here in the body, I'll just link the JavaScript file. Right now, let's start with the markup of our uh, FAQ accordion. So first of all, let's create an H2 and let's give it a class of FAQ heading. And here let's type frequently asked questions. Right now, let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Now let's go back and uh, let's continue writing the HTML. So for the FAQ accordion, we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of FAQ container. And in this for the question, we'll create a division with the class of question container. So let's tap question container. And in that for the question, we'll create a division with the class of question. So let's tap question. And here we will add the question. So I'll just copy this question from here. And I'll just paste it over here. Now here we can see in the question, we also have this icon on the right side. So let's add the icon inside this uh, question division. So I'll just create a span for the icon. And uh, let's give it a class. And uh, let's set the class to question icon. And in this span, we will add the icon. So I'll just get the icon from heroicons.com. Right here, I'm in heroicons.com and let's search for the icon. So we have this arrow. So for that, I'll just type Chevron. So here we have these arrows and we need to have this down arrow. So let's click on copy SVG. Let's go back and paste it inside this span. Right now, if we go back to the browser, here we can see we have the arrow. And the next thing we need to have is the answer. So for that, Let's go outside this uh, question division and let's create a division with the class of answer container. And in this we will have the answer. Now for the answer, let's create a division with the class of answer. And in this we will add the answer. So before the answer, we need to have this icon. So for that, let's create a span and uh, let's give it a class of answer icon. And let's go back to heroicons.com and uh, let's get this icon right here. So we need to have this check icon. So here let's type check. Let's go to the mini version and uh, let's copy this icon right here. So let's click on copy SVG and let's go back and uh, let's paste it over here inside this span. And after this span, we need to add the answer. So let's go back over here and I'll just copy this from here and let's paste it over here. So this is going to be the answer. So we need to have three of these answer divisions over here. So I'll just copy this uh, answer division from here. And I'll just paste it two more times. And let's go ahead and change the content. So I'll just copy this and uh, let's paste it over here. And let's go back and copy this. And let's paste it over here. 
Now in the next video, I'll show you how to make all of this uh, easier by adding all this content to our JavaScript file. But for now, we'll just do it this way so that we can style it. And uh, now let's go ahead and copy this uh, question container. And uh, let's paste it one more time. So that we have two questions to work with. Right now, let's go back to our browser. And here we can see that all the elements are displayed over here. Now let's start with writing the CSS. Let's go back to the style.css file and uh, first of all, let's target the h2. So here we have this h2 for the heading. So I'll just tap h2 and we have a class. So we have this class of FAQ heading. So just tap FAQ heading. We'll set the font family to inter and sans serif. And let's get the link of this inter font from Google Fonts. So let's go back to our browser and let's go to Google Fonts. Right here, I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for enter. And uh, here we have the font. So let's click on the font. And uh, let's select the styles that we need. So we need to have this uh, light version for this uh, heading. So let's select light 300. And uh, we also need to have the bold version. So let's select bold 700. And uh, let's click on this button called view selected families and uh, let's copy the link. So I'll just copy this uh, link of the CSS file. So let's click on import and let's copy this code from here. And let's go back and uh, let's paste it above our CSS. Right now let's go ahead and continue styling this heading. So we need to set it to the center. So let's type text align center. And uh, let's also set the font weight to 300. And uh, let's set the font size to 28 pixels and uh, we'll set the color of the text to 1D3557. And let's also add a margin. So I'll just tap margin. And let's set the margin to 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right. And we'll add some margin top for this. So I'll just tap margin top. And let's set the margin top to 60 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Right now, let's go ahead and style the FAQ container. So we have this main division with a class of FAQ container. So I'll just type dot FAQ container. And for this, we will set the max width to 600 pixels. And uh, we will set a border radius of 8 pixels. And let's also add box shadow. And let's set the value to 0, 4 pixels, 50 pixels, negative 8 pixels RGBA. 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 and we'll also bring it to the center so I'll just type margin and for top and bottom I'll just type 32 pixels and for left and right I'll just type auto and for this also I will set the font family to enter and sans serif and uh, let's set the color of all the text to 1D3557 and we'll also set the line height to 1.9 Right now, let's style the question. So here we can see for the question, we have this division with the class of question. So here, let's type FAQ container question. And for the question, we need to set the display to flex so that the question is on the left side and the icon on the right side. Now for the question, we will set the display to flex so that the question is on the left side and the icon on the right side. So let's type display of flex. Now we can see that the icon is not being displayed. So let's go ahead and type FAQ container question question icon and uh, here we can see we have this icon with the class of question icon so let's go ahead and set a width and let's set it to 20 pixels and now we can see that the icon is being displayed over here now we want this icon to be displayed on the right side so what we will do is here in the question division let's set justify content to space between now we can see that the question is on the left side and the arrow on the right side now let's go ahead and add a long question. So here I just add some random text and uh, let's go ahead and set a gap between these two elements. So here let's tap gap and let's set the gap to 32 pixels. All right now let's set the font size of this question and let's set it to 18 pixels and we'll set the font weight to bold. And now let's set a padding so I'll just type padding and let's set the padding to 16 pixels and 24 pixels. 
and uh, let's set the cursor to pointer so I just tap cursor pointer now when we hover over this we have this pointer right now let's go ahead and uh, delete this uh, extra text over here so here we have this question and here we have this arrow now let's go ahead and style this so let's go back and uh, let's go to the CSS file and here for the question icon let's add a background color and let's set it to gray color and now let's go ahead and set a padding of 4 pixels and uh, let's set the border radius to 50% so that we have round shape and now we can see that it is not exactly round so for that we have to type display of flex let's also set the height of this uh, icon so let's tap height of 20 pixels and now I think it looks alright now let's go ahead and style this answer so let's go back over here to the HTML file and for the answer we have this division with the class of answer so let's go ahead and uh, target that I'll just tap FAQ container answer and here also we will set the display to flex so that the icon is on the left side and the answer on the right side and now just like the question we don't have the icon displayed over here so we need to add the width to the icon now for the answer we have this icon with the class of answer icon so here let's tap FAQ container answer answer icon and let's set the width to 20 pixels now here we can see for some of the answers we have lesser width and for some answers we have a higher width so for that let's go back and here for the icon let's set the flex shrink to 0 so that it doesn't shrink and now we can see all the icons have the correct width and let's add the same CSS to this question icon as well now while we are here let's also go ahead and style this icon so for the icon let's set the color to blue and uh, let's set the display to flex and now we can see that these icons are centered vertically so here for this answer division let's type align items and let's set it to flex start and now let's add a little bit of margin top so here for the icon let's type margin top and let's set it to 5 pixels and that looks alright now let's go back over here and uh, let's add a gap so let's type gap and let's set the gap to 8 pixels now for each of the answers let's also add some margin so here let's type margin and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right All right now we need to have some padding on the left side of this answer so for that we have this division with the class of answer container so let's target that I just type FAQ container answer container and let's set a padding of 0 top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and let's add a background color and let's set it to EDF 2F4 and I think we also need to add some margin top and bottom so let's go ahead and change this to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 for left and right now there are two states in our question the first one is this non-expanded state and when we click on this we have this expanded state so we need to have two different stylings for this so what we're going to do is we're going to add a class called expanded to this question container and when we have the expanded class we will display the answer and also change the color of this icon and we'll also need to rotate it so what we'll do is here in this FAQ accordion for the first one we will set it to expanded and for the second one we'll just set it to non-expanded just for testing so let's go back over here and uh, let's go to the HTML file and here for the first question let's also add a class called expanded All right now let's go back over here to style.css file and uh, for the question icon we need to make some changes so here let's type FAQ container and then we need to type question container and here we need to type dot expanded and then we need to type question icon now what this will do is if we have the expanded class added to the question container then it will add the following styles to the question icon so here we need to change the background color so let's tap background and let's set the color to 2A9D8F and we'll also set the color of the icon to white and we also need to rotate it so let's tap transform rotate Z and uh, let's set the angle to 
180 degrees and now we can see that we have a different styling for the expanded question now when the question is not expanded we need to have a different styling so we don't need to display these answers so let's go back and here for the answer container let's go ahead and uh, add a max height so just a max height and let's set it to zero and uh, we'll also add overflow of hidden so that anything outside the division is not being displayed and now we can see that the answers are not being displayed but because of the padding we have this space displayed over here so let's go ahead and change the padding back to zero and when we display the answers we will add the padding right now here for the expanded question we need to display the answer so let's tap FAQ container question container dot expanded and in that we have the answer container and here we need to add a max height and uh, let's set it to let's try fit content we'll also add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and I think for this text we need to have a larger font weight so let's go back to Google fonts and let's go back to the inter font and I think we need to select this regular version as well so let's click on select regular 400 and now let's copy this import from here and let's go back and let's paste it over here and now we have 300 400 and 700 and now I think it looks alright right so with that we have completed designing this FAQ accordion now in the next video I'll show you how to add this functionality of expanding and uh, collapsing the answers using JavaScript. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching have a nice day.